Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 105 of What's the Pepper series. Today we are going to revisit the white tie, but we're going to do something a little bit special. We're going to compare soil versus hydroponic to see if we can tell if there's a difference in flavor. Maybe there's a difference in heat or something like that. But uh, let's go take a look at the plant, one in hydro and a few in uh, uh, soil and then pick a few pods and test it out and see if there's a difference. Okay, first up, we are going to pick a pod off of this beautiful hydroponic plant. And the pods are actually really nice looking. They're real big and um, very pretty. So I have quite a few and some of them have this really beautiful purple right here. So I'm going to pick one of the best looking one uh, probably this one here nice size pretty big at exactly the stage that I want it to be I gotta make sure that it's not one of my cross because that would be bad okay so I'll, I'll go ahead and pull this one here I have to be very careful Look at that. So this is the one grown in hydro. So let's go outside and pick one in soil. Okay, before we pick the one in soil, just thought I'll show you my other hydro. And this is running on solar powered. See that? That's my solar pump. And it's feeding oxygen into here. Uh, the pods are not as good looking. That's the reason why I chose the other plant. Okay, so let's go and pick the soil one. Okay, here we are. We have six plants, so we are going to pick the best looking pods that we can find. Oh, I see one right here. There it is. That is probably the best and biggest looking one. Um, there's a few here. Actually, these are pretty good looking as well. They're also golden, so around the same and here's a few more. I picked a ton of these already, so that's why there's not that many left. We'll just go with this one because it is the closest to the one in hydro. And there it is, so we're going to label this. Okay, we picked two pods here, one in soil and one in hydroponic. I try to pick the ones that are most alike, but um, Unfortunately, the, the one in soil, there's none that are this size, but this is the one that came closest. Uh, they look basically identical in colors and shapes and, um, you know, firmness and all that stuff. So they look pretty much the same, um, except the, the hydro one is a little bit larger, but that, that doesn't uh, really... Uh, you know, it, it's always different because different plants produce different sizes. So sometimes in soil, you can find pods that are that size, but except this time we couldn't because my plant, I picked it all earlier. So the, these are the only few that are left. So uh, let's go ahead and cut them open and uh, see if there's uh, anything different on the inside. So I have my label here. This is my soil and that is my hydroponic. So, um, I love these white Thai. They're just gorgeous and they taste really nice. Uh, they're great for um, Asian foods and probably any other food. But See, they're very nice and firm and crunchy. That's why I love them. So here is the soil one. Beautiful on the inside. Very nice and thick wall. And uh, they're so crunchy like a cucumber. When you cut them, they're just, you know, you, it slides straight down and you can op cut them open easily. This is the hydro one. Beautiful pods. A little bit of purple there. That's just the normal trait of this variety. I can feel the same texture.
See how crunchy they are? Look at that. That's the oil on these things because they're very, very thick. And so uh, uh, they probably have a lot of liquid. So um, when you harvest the, 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 the pod at this stage, um, the, those are the, the, not, the, red, the seeds that are not ready. So uh, they look identical on the inside. Except um, probably larger uh, placenta on this soil one here. So I can bring them up closer. Not much of a difference. Okay, let's try them out. All right, guys, here they are. These are the white tie and uh, you saw the inside. So let's go ahead and give it a smell. I'm gonna go with the soil one first. Yep, it has the, the same <laughs> white Thai peppery, kind of earthy um, peppery taste to them. I mean, uh, f uh, aroma to them. So let's try the hydro. <laughs> exactly the same thing. Maybe I have to sniff them side by side. You know, the, the hydro one, actually, it has a, a stronger smell. So this one, you, you really have to kind of try to sniff it. This one, the smell is just easier to come by, come through. So the hydro has a, yeah, a better aroma. Yep. You can easily tell because uh, uh, for the soil one, you got you gotta have to push, put it up all the way here and sniff it. This one in the hydro, you really don't have to. So um, that's one difference. Yep. But that really doesn't say much because sometimes it it could be the 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 difference in age of the pods or how how old the pods are. Um, these things take a long time to ripe. So this one could be longer on the plant than this, but they look exactly the same. So that, that could be the reason. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and taste the, uh, the soil one first. Very nice and crunchy. Man, this thing has a beautiful initial flavor. Very spicy. There's something about that crunch and that burst of um, flavor right as you chew into them and then the heat. So the, the combination of all that is what I love so much about this variety. I can eat it with every meal. <laughs> so that's why you see I grow like six or seven plants every year. Um, they taste great. They look beautiful. Produce a ton of pods. Wow, this is hot. Good chest burn. This kind of heat is just like a perfect kind of heat because it's not overwhelmingly strong where you kind of like have to tap out. This one, you when you eat with a meal, it kind of enhance all that. So, um... Uh, when you eat it with food, it's not as hot because your tongue is coated with the with the other stuff, so it won't be as hot. But when you eat it by itself, it, it's a little bit hotter. So you get some throat burn, a little bit of tongue burn, good good overall. Um, it's kind of like overall well-rounded pepper to to grow for beauty and for taste and for how much they produce also. And they always produce in cluster and um, 
the pots would like go through different variations of colors you know there's white green purple and then you get orange and then red so red is the final color orange is right before the red and that's usually the best time to eat them but I kind of like it before the orange like kind of like an ivory color and I think that's where the there's a the perfect blend of heat crunchiness and flavor okay so man there's still flavor in my mouth so hopefully I can tell uh, give you guys a, a description of the the hydro one so I've grown peppers in hydro for many years I, I don't even know how long it's been maybe five six years in, in hydro for peppers and the peppers in hydroponic is always hotter for me personally um, I'm not sure about the other people but all of the peppers that I grow in hydroponic they always taste so much hotter than the counterpart in soil it could be my soil issues you know it, it could be all kinds of different variations but um, from my experience that's that's why I, I always get it's just so spicy in the in hydro so let's let's see Hmm. Definitely different in flavor. You you almost get like a a slight, very slight floralness, really quick. It's much crunchier, but less heat. It could be because you know my tongue has already been adjusted from the the pepper before. But the flavor is really good. There's something different about it. I think it's that um, the slight floralness. It's 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 crunchier also, and that could be the age of the peppers too. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this one the heat is not as much, so that's the first time for me. Actually, it's building right now has a slow build yep it's, getting, it's hot the roof of my mouth is on fire wow that has that had a, a, a slow build It's pretty hot but I think in this instance the soil one is slightly hotter but the soil the soil one has an instant burn um, this hydro kind of had a, a little delay <laughs> so um, the flavor of the two I think the soil was a little bit better <clears throat> I think it might be because of that really crunchiness um, texture wow it's still hot <clears throat> and then um, a very faint aroma of, of, of floralness and then it kind of like disappear quickly so that that kind of like so I don't like a lot of floralness like the ghost pepper and man that thing is too floral for me so I usually don't like to eat those things raw but they're great in hot sauce and powder but eat them straight straight up you it's almost like you you kind of like inhaling perfume so um that's it guys <laughs> i'm not an expert or anything like that all of this is just my personal opinion so i just wanted to share it with you guys and if you other people are doing the uh, growing soil and hydro as well uh, please share your your uh, you know opinion and experience with us but uh wow it's, it's still hot so the soil one uh, so I'll summarize it the soil one it has a fainter uh, smell aroma to it the hydro has a, a stronger uh, smell aroma um, the soil one when you bite into it that burst of flavor come out right away and uh, you get heat instantly 
uh, pretty decent, uh, you know, kind of like average heat. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, it doesn't last as long. And then for the ho the hydro one, um, much crunchier, burst of flavor. There's a hint of floralness. And then the heat doesn't come on until a bit later, as you've seen in the video. It, I, you know, it could be that... Um, uh, you know, my tongue was already experienced uh, from the, the, the soil one before. So that, that, that could cause the delay. So maybe we could revisit and then, you know, tr <laughs> switch, try the, the hydro first and then the soil after, to, just to be fair. But yeah, so the, anyway, that was just for fun. Um, white Thai pepper, it is an amazing variety, guys. I can't say enough about this variety for the, the, the looks how much they produce, how easy it is to grow, and um, it's just an overall well-rounded pepper. You can eat it uh, all the stages uh, from, don't eat it when it's slightly green because it's too young, so ivory color to orange to red. Um, if you wait it for, for the red to be too red, it starts to kind of like wrinkle and become soft, and then, and then uh, the flavor changes because it becomes sweeter. So uh, when it becomes red, now, I usually pick them for seeds or maybe, you know, make them into hot sauce or something like that. But I I eat only the ivory color and orange color for kind of like a daily uses. But uh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have uh, a bunch more plans coming up because everything is starting to ripen. So uh, more episodes will be coming soon. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.